students, my name is Theodor Skizau and I'm your physics teacher. Today we'll see grade 10 physics unit 3 that is about current, electrical current or current electricity. These are some important terms we must know in this unit, therefore read this by yourself. Let us start from electric circuits. Electric circuits. Convectional current is first, let us see about convectional current. When we say conventional current, conventional currents are always flows, flows from positive charge through a closed loop or a closed circuit, and the current through a resistor, a resistance, and the voltage which produces is related by Ohm's law. Ohm's law, and it gives us, according to Ohm's, the resistance is equivalent to potential divided by what the current, or the potential is equivalent to current times what the resistance, the resistance. And electric current and its SI unit when we see electrical current electrical current is measured in amperes amperes sometimes we can measure by milliampere microampere and so on that is prefixes since we have small when we have small amount of current but the SI unit for electrical current is what amperes amperes and electrical current is a flow of charge and this the rate of flow of charge is electrical current and the rate of flow of charge is calculated by using Q is equal to what? No, sorry. Sorry. The unit, the symbol for electrical current is I. I is equal to what? Q over T. This means, this means it's measured in what? Column per second. And this one column per second is equivalent to what? One ampere. Therefore, the sign for electrical current is one ampere. One ampere. For example, by using this equation, if you are asked to calculate how long will a current of 5 ampere takes to pass this amount of charge now let us take out the given first the given the givens are what how long will it take we are asked to find time but 5 milliampere this one is current current is 5 milliampere and also the charge q is how much 100 micro column and 5 milliampere means 5 times 10 is the power of what minus 3 ampere and 100 micro ampere means 100 times what 10 is the power of minus 6 therefore as you know i is equal to what q over t from this range in this we have t is equal to what q over i and q is how much 100 times 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by divided by 5 times 10 to the power of what minus 3 and by 5 1 by 5 what 20 therefore this one becomes 20 times 10 to the power of when you move this minus 6 plus 3 it becomes minus 3 and finally when you shift 3 it becomes 0 0.02 second this one is the final answer or this one is the time taken to move this amount of charge by this amount of what current current okay the other thing is what are the charge that flow around the circuit you must take care of this point always always in any electrical circuit the only substance or the only material moving in that circuit or the only subparticle is always what electrons negatively charged electrons therefore always there is a transfer or there is an electric current because of the movement of electron there is no another particle which is moving in the in the circuit in the circuit we have seen on unit 2 when we charge materials the only the only particle moving from one substance from one object to another object is electrons electrons therefore the only substance which transfers is or which makes a material conductor is electron therefore in any circuit there is a current because of the movement of what electrons electrons now now let us take let us take one copper atom can change into a positive copper ion plus a negative ion, a negative electron each copper has 28 of what electrons are still firmly bounded but one is what free now let us take one segment some segment of some segment of a particle and for this segment if you you can see the derivation from your Gertin physics text and if you drive, if you drive by using for this segment from this point 
up to this point the drift speed is the speed of electron each electron and if you calculate the distance x to y is equal to if it takes time t for to move from this up to this drift speed times what t is the time the displacement and finding again the number of charges and so on finally you can get the amount of charge the amount of charge is equivalent to what n a e v times t over what t and t is cancelled by t and finally it's what n a e v now n is what the number of electrons a is the cross-sectional area of the wire and e is charge on each electron v is speed of each electron each electron therefore by using this equation also we can drive we can drive the current that's flowing through the wire through the wire as you see from the equation when the area is larger the current becomes larger that means if the wire is more more larger that means the thickness of the wire if it is greater the current that's flowing through the wire is also greater okay let us take one example current of 5 times 10 to the power of minus 27 ampere is flowing through for this example slowing flowing through a 2 millimeter diameter wire the drift speed of the electron is the wire is how much 10 to the power of 10 to the power of how much minus 5 10 to the power of minus 5 this one is the example and the charge on electron is this much the charge on electron is this much therefore if you are asked to determine if you are asked to determine the number of electron passing through this wire n we can solve from this for n n is equal to what current over a e times what v therefore the diameter the drift speed is given the current is given and the charge on each electron is also given therefore we can easily determine the number of electron and also here the diameter is given when you calculate the area since it is cross-sectional area you must use what pi times r square and finally if you substitute if by finding the area first you can finally get 9.95 and electric electric energy from chemicals let us see that this one is a title this is a title but here 9.95 it's not there is no 0 0.95 electron therefore our final answer must be it's what 9 by neglecting the point because you must you must express in terms of integer because we don't have half or in terms of decimal electron okay the other thing is electrical energy from chemicals an electrochemical cell is one divide that makes a current from round to a circuit such as cell having two electrodes made of two different what conductors an electrolyzed solution which reacts with what electrode and conductive wires which electron can flow an electric circuit often contains one or more what group together and attached to an energy source such as a battery such as a battery here we have an orange orange can transfer electricity here we have we use this orange as what electrolyte electrolyte solution and we have two electrodes this one is the copper rod or the copper electrode and this one is the zinc electrode zinc electrode and this in this circuit as you see we use what a voltage a volt ohm and there is what there is a flow of charge in this circuit in this circuit and there are many different sources of electricity among this this one is the first one that is electrical energy from chemicals and there are many different types of electricity or cells among this we can divide into two primary and secondary when we say primary cells primary cells a cells that can used once after that when we finish the energy store the chemical energy store in that material is finished or end we simply 
remove it that means ምን ማለት ነው primary cellsዎች ማለት ምን ማለት ነው የሴሎች ናቸው አንድ ጊዜ ሰርኪት ውስጥ አስቀብተን ተጠቅመንባቸው ወይንም ካበራን ከተጠቀመ በኋላ ፋይናሊ ልክ ሲጨርሱ ያላቸው ውስጣቸው ስቶሪ ተደረገው ኢነርጂ ልክ ሲያልቅ ምንም እናረጋቸው የምንጥላቸው ማለት ነው ልክ እንደዚህ አይነት ሴሎች ከሆኑ primary cell ድጋሚ ቻርጅ የማይደረጉ that cannot be recharged is primary cells but secondary cells are a cells after we use once and when the energy stored in that cell is in by moving electrical current through that through that cell we can recharge and reuse it raise it that is secondary cell secondary cell of demo manait nacho charge digami and gize tetekmenbacho lik siyalk digami charge yadergen ulin tetekmenbacho mechilacho materialoch malatno secondary cell menilacho an example of secondary cell is car battery and an example of primary cell is one one basic example ordinary battery or ordinary cell which we use for remote control and for hand, hand torch and so on and so on okay the other thing is ohms law and electric resistance ohms law and electric resistance okay ohms in early 19th century he he did or he did or he proves experimentally the relationship between current and current voltage and resistance and always current has a direct relation with a voltage and it has what an inverse relation with the resistance and he write this relation he write this relation as current i is equal to voltage over resistance right this one is ohms law ohms law and for example let us see one example by using this ohms law ohms law and if the flashlight were a two cell flashlight we would have twice the voltage or 3 volt applied to the circuit the circuit and using the voltage in equation that voltage is how much 3 volt per 5 ohm finally you can get what 0 0.6 ampere 0 0.6 ampere okay we have some questions question 1 2 3 4 among this let us see one question one question according to ohm's law what happens to the circuit current if the applied voltage is increased as i said for the current i is equal to what v over r from this equation if the voltage doubles the current also what? doubles if the voltage increases the current also increases therefore what will happen to the current if the the voltage is what increased it will what increase and if it is decreased it also what decreases decreases you must see the other relationship depending on this equation the other thing is the effect of resistance on heat has an effect on its resistance always when the heat or the temperature increase the resistance of a material also increases increases therefore always to calculate this to calculate this the increase in resistance because of temperature is equivalent to alpha times r naught times what change in t change in t when we say r naught r naught is the resistance of a substance be before the temperature is raised at the initial temperature the resistance of a substance at the initial temperature and at the final temperature the resistance of the, the substance becomes r is equal to r naught plus what r naught plus r naught plus change in t the sum of the two at hot temperature at hot temperature let us see one example here we have a metal it made from putting these together we can get this equation as i said before and let us see one example a copper resistance this this example at this point a copper resistance has a conductivity of this value whose value is 10 at 0 degree celsius and it's warmer to what 150 degree celsius work out its resistance at hot you are asked to determine what resistance at hot therefore to calculate the resistance at hot resistance at hot we use this this equation first to determine the increase in resistance after that what 
you can add with the initial resistance of the substance therefore first let us find this one is the increase in resistance increase in resistance is equal to alpha r not change in t alpha is given and r not is at the initial temperature this this amount and the change in temperature is 150 minus 0 it's what 150 finally you can get it's what 6.45 this one is the increase in resistance the resistance at holds is the initial resistance plus the increase in resistance therefore 10 plus 6.45 it becomes what 60.45 ohm 45 ohm and the other thing the effect of length diameter and of a resistance or resistors on resistance length length has an inverse relation no a direct relation with resistance when the length of the wire increase the resistance also increases when the diameter or when we say diameter it becomes what or area when the area of a wire or a resistor increases the resistance of the resistor decreases therefore it has an inverse relationship with the resistance the which one diameter diameter has an inverse relationship with the resistance and length has a direct relation with what a resistance a resistance therefore it is the effect this much and resistivity resistivity combining this combining this finally you can get a resistance of any substance is equivalent to rho l over a as you see resistance has an inverse relation with the area and it has what a direct relation with what the lengths the lengths this rho is resistivity how it can resist or it can block the flow of current is measured by resistivity therefore resistivity is depend on the type of the material the type of the material okay the other thing is electromotive force and current and ohm's law ohm's law when we see electromotive force electromotive force is a stored a stored force which makes or which pumps charges to flow throughout the circuit therefore electromotive force or potential will not move or circuit uh, circulate in the circuit the only substance which is circulating in the circuit is electrons and these electrons are moving throughout the circuit because of this electromotive force electromotive force can pump or pushes the electrons to move in a circuit in a circuit and and this is the equation which is gotten from ohm's law ohm's law it's repetition therefore let us let us pass that and resistivity and resistance as i said before resistivity and resistance has a direct relation because resistivity is how it can able to block the flow of current therefore resistance is also the measure of how it can resist or block the flow of current therefore resistivity and resistance has a direct relation therefore by using this equation we can determine the resistance of a resistor the resistance of a resistor we have one example here a copper wire has a cross-sectional area of this much and a length of this much and aluminum wire that say that the dimension of the wooded to the end of the copper wire and the end of the long copper aluminum wheel connected to this much voltage neglecting the resistance of any other wire in the figure in this figure determine the total resistance the total current let us find for the first the total resistance since these two are connected in series in series r total r total is for series combination the sum of the two resistors if it is connected in series r total is equal to r1 plus r2 therefore we can add r1 plus r2 r1 is copper and r2 is what aluminium first we can find resistance of copper by using what resistance resistivity of copper times length of copper divided by what the cross-sectional area the cross-sectional area and then also resistance of aluminium which is equal to what rho of aluminium aluminium multiplied by the length divided by the cross-sectional area 
the cross-sectional area. And finally, you get 0.34 and 0.56. And the sum of the two gives us the total resistance, which is equivalent to 0 0.9 ohm. 0 0.9 ohm. And also, we are asked to determine the total current. I total, I total is equal to V total, V total over what? R total. R total. Therefore, therefore, V total over R total. V total is how much from the given, from the equation? V total or the total current is 3 volt. Therefore, 3 volt divided by the total resistance 0 0.9. This one becomes around 3.33. Multiplying 10 by 10, 10 by 10, 30 over what? 9. And by 3, 10. 10. And by 3, 3. 10 over 3 is 3.33. 3, 3. 3, 3. This one is, this one is the total current that is throughout the circuit. Let us find combination of resistors. We can combine resistors in two ways. In series or in parallel. Let us say this one is series combination. Series combination. If resistors are connected in series, always, always, the total resistance or the equivalent resistance is calculated by using R1 plus R2 plus R3. The algebraic sum of the resistance gives us the total resistance. And if it is connected in series, the current passing through each resistor is equivalent to what? The total current. You must know this. You must know this. And also, the total potential. The total potential is equivalent to the algebraic sum of the potential across, across each resistor. V1 plus V2 plus V3. V3. This one is the three basic equation which we use to calculate resistance total current and currents and potential in series combination in series combination we have one example here find the equivalent resistance what is the current in the circuit here we have three resistors one two three and these three resistors are combined in series therefore we can take the algebraic sum r1 plus two r1 plus r2 r3 and r1 is three two one finally we get how much six oh this one the total right resistance and we are asked to determine what the circuit in the current that means the total current the voltage is this much v total over r equivalent v total is 12 12 over 6 it becomes what 2 ampere 2 ampere and remember the rule for dealing with series circuit as follows the rules as i expressed before the total resistance in series circuit is the sum of the individual what resistance we can sum all in all and the total current in the circuit is the current must pass through each resistor. That means the total current is equivalent to the current passing through I1, through I2, through I3. I3. And the third one is the voltage divided proportionally among the resistors according to Ohm's law. This indicates that the total potential across the total potential in the circuit is equivalent to the sum of the, the potential across each resistor each resistor okay the second one is parallel combination parallel combination when you see this one is a parallel combination r1 r2 r3 are connected in parallel in parallel therefore for parallel combination the total resistance is the sum of the individuals no this is not right this one is for series combination. This one is for series combination. For parallel, sorry, for this, it's not the sum of the individuals. We can take what? For parallel, 1 over R, 1 over R total is equal to what? 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 R3 we can use this relation to determine what the total resistance the total resistance after we add we invert the value we invert the value and the total current the total current 
is equivalent to the sum of across each the sum of across each register current that means i1 plus i2 plus i3 since we have three registers this one gives us the total current and the voltage the voltage is v total since they are in parallel is equivalent to what v1 equivalent to v2 equivalent to what v3 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 that means the voltage across each resistor equal is equivalent to what the total the total voltage the total voltage this is the basic properties in resistor in parallel combination in parallel combination the relation between emf current and internal resistance always always every every cell have its internal resistance internal resistance and the emf of a cell is determined by two two potentials potential across the internal resistor plus 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 potential across the bigger resistor and then this one gives us i times small r plus i times what capital r and i is common for both i into r plus capital r this one is the relation between emf current and internal resistance it's given here it's given here here we have one example consider the circuit shown in the figure below in the figure below and consider the circuit and calculate the total resistance of the whole circuit for this circuit the circuit is what series combination therefore for series combination of resistors we take we can take what larger big sum therefore our total is equal to 3.52 times 0 0.5 it becomes what six six and secondly you are asked to determine what you are asked to determine calculate the current in the circuit since the circuit is series one the same current must flow through all resistors consider the 3.5 ohm resistor okay we are asked to determine the total current because since they are connected in series the current passing through this through this and through this is equivalent to the total current therefore we take the total voltage and the total resistance therefore i is equal to v over r and the total voltage is 12 and the total resistance is 6 it becomes what 2 ampere 2 ampere and calculate the voltage drop necessarily to send 2 amperes through 3.5 that means you are asked to, to determine what the resistance the uh, potential potential is equal to i times r and i is it's calculated earlier that is 2 and the resistance is this much and the potential becomes this much this much and calculate the potential difference across the other two resistors the 2 ohm resistor for 2m the current is and the potential is the current and the resistance is 2 2 therefore the voltage is 4 for the third 0 0.5 and what 2 ampere it becomes what 1 and if you check the answer that means as we said for series combination the total voltage is equal to what the sum of the voltages therefore for the first the 3.5 we got how much 7 7 plus for the 2 ohm we got how much 4 plus for the 0 0.5 ohm we got how much 1 the sum of these two these three gives us how much 12 volt therefore the total voltage is 12 it's equivalent it is true and for series for parallel combination we have one example here again the circuit consists of two ohm and three ohm resistors in parallel a three volt battery is connected to the circuit how big a current is drawn from it we are asked to determine the total current first we can calculate the total resistance resistance by using what one over r total equation therefore one over r total since we have two resistors is equivalent to one over r1 plus what one over r 
2. And R1 is 3 and R2 is 2. Therefore, you can take 1 over R total is equal to, let us take 6 as a common for both. For both, 6 divided to 3, 2 times, 2 times 1, 2, plus 6 divided to 3, 3 times, 3 times 1, 3. And finally, you get how much? 5 over 6. And inverting this, the total resistance becomes what? 6 over 5 ohm, inverting both sides. And 6 over 4, 5 is equivalent to what? 1.2 ohm. It's the final answer. And the equation for total current, that is I total, is equal to what? V total divided by what? R total. And then V is how much? V is 3 volt divided by how much? 1.2 ohm. And when you divide this, you got 2.5 ampere. 2.5 ampere. There is another example. For the circuit shown in the figure below, calculate the voltage drop across each resistor, calculate the current through each resistor, calculate the effective resistance of the circuit. Therefore, this circuit is what? Series, not parallel. Therefore, first you are a calculator to calculate the voltage drop across each resistor. To calculate the voltage, we don't need any values because since they are connected in parallel, the voltage across each resistor, across each resistor, is equivalent to what? The total voltage. Therefore, as the resistors are connected in parallel, the voltage drop will the same across each, and the value equal to what? Full of 12 volt for the 12, the 6, and the 4 ohm resistor. Therefore, we don't need to calculate the voltage. In B, to cal calculate the current through each resistor. To calculate the current, the voltage is known, the voltage is known, and the resistance is known. Therefore, for the 12 ohm, I1 is equal to what? For the 12 ohm, I1 is equal to what? V over R1. V over R1. And V is how much? 12. And R1 is what? 12. 12 over 12, it's 1 ampere. And for 6 ohm, for 6 ohm, 12 over what? 6, it's 12, 2 ampere. And for O4 ohm, 12 over 4, it's what? 3 ampere. And the total current, the total, the total, see in C, you are asked to determine the total resistance. The total resistance is calculated by using what? 1 over R total is equal to, since it is 3, since it is 3 resistors, 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. R1 is 12, R2 is 6, and R3 is what? 4. After that, you can take LCM for all 12, and you can sum up. Finally, you get how much? 1 over, this one is what? For 1 over R. And when you invert this, you can get the total resistance of what? 2 ampere. Therefore, let us check. The total current must be the sum of these three. That means 1 plus 3 plus 3, it becomes what? 6 ampere. Let us check by using the total voltage and the total resistance. The voltage is how much? 12. Therefore, I total, I total is equal to what? V total divided by what? R total. V is 12. 12 divided by the resistance is 2. 12 over 2 is what? 6. It's true. When you sum up these three currents, it's 6, and the total current is 6. It's true. It's true. The other thing is combination of cells. When you combine cells, cells, you can combine just like, just like resistors in series as well as in parallel. When you combine in series, you can take out the algebraic sum of each cell's potential. But if they are connected in parallel, the total potential is, or the total voltage is equivalent to each voltage. For example, if you are using 1.5 volt cell, and if you connect in series, four of them, if it is in series, it's what? 1.5 
times what? 4. It becomes 6 volts. But if you connect in parallel, in parallel, the voltage is not increased. That is still 1.5. But it has one advantage. If you combine in series, you can get large amount of current for a short period of time. And if you combine in parallel, you can get small amount of current for a long period of time. A longer period of time. That means if you use or if you need sustainable current for large time, you must combine resistors or cells in parallel. If you need a large amount of current for a short period of time, you combine the cells in what? Series. In series. Okay. The other thing is electrical costs and electrical energy and power. Electrical energy is calculated by using electrical energy is equivalent to potential current times what? Time t. Joule is not here. Joule is the SI unit. This one is used to calculate what? The electrical current. The electrical current. Therefore, the electrical current is calculated by using Vi times t. And if you are asked to calculate the power, power is equal to what? Voltage times current. You can also rearrange and form another equation by using the relation between current is equal to voltage over R. And you can substitute this in this and the power equation changes to what? V square over R. And also, if you substitute voltage is equivalent to what? If you make crisscross current times R. If you substitute in the place of V, I times R, power is equal to current square. Current square times what? Resistance. This one is also another equation. We can rearrange and form three different equations. Three different equations. The other thing is electrical cost. Electric is distributed to home and business to use it and it's measured in kilowatt hours. Every electrical station measures in kilowatt hour. A kilowatt hour is energy used for one hour. How much appliance? One kilowatt power appliance. Therefore, kilowatt hour indicates an energy used one kilowatt per one hour for one hour. So let's see, one no, and kilowatt hour manage and kilowatt and sat. And kilowatt electrical energy land is Therefore, for example, consumer of electricity are changed, charged for each kilowatt hour used. How many joule of are one kilowatt hour? Let us change this. One kilowatt is equal to one energy by one kilowatt. That means one kilowatt is 1000 watt for one hour. Therefore, we can substitute here one kilowatt. One kilowatt is equivalent to 1000 times what? The time is how much? 1 hour is 3600 seconds, 3600. And multiplying this, you can get this value. This indicates that 1 kilowatt, 1 kilowatt is equivalent to, 1 kilowatt is equivalent to what? 1 kilowatt is equivalent to 3.6 megajoule or 3,600, 3,600,000 joule is equivalent to one kilowatt, one kilowatt. And the other thing is electrical installation and safety roll. We have so many, we have so many safety rules. Among these, we will see two of them. The first one is urged. When we use electrical circuits, the circuits connected to earth allowing any dangerous or large amount of current to be safely discharged towards therefore we always or we make we make always the circuits to earth or we make earth to get or to be safe from dangerous large amount of current when there is large amount of current to be flowing through that circuit is safely discharged to earth when we earth it the circuit. The second one is fuse. Fuse. Fuses are protective devices for protecting an electrical current and containing what? A wire that melts and breaks when the current exceeds 
a certain value for example if the current the fuse is 5 ampere fuse if the current is greater than 5 ampere the fuse melts and breaks breaks that means it blocks the flow of current the flow of current in our ma electronic material becomes safe becomes safe these are the two safety rules and the other thing is one example let us see one example two heating coils coils a and b produces heat at a rate of what one kilowatt and two kilowatt respectively when connected to what 250 volt main calculate the resistance of each resistor and find the power they would reduce when connected in series to main first for the first resistor power is equivalent to what voltage times current and the power is given it's what one kilowatt therefore it's one kilowatt is 1000 watts which is equivalent to the voltage is how much 250 volt multiplied by current current is equivalent to what from this current is equivalent to current is equivalent to power over voltage and the power is 1000 divided by 250 becomes what 1 4 ampere and to get the resistance resistance r is equal to what voltage over current and the voltage is 250 divided by 4 the resistance becomes 62.5 for the second the same thing is true you can calculate the current first it's what 8 ampere uh, 250 divided by 8 it's what 31.25 and you are asked to calculate the power reduced the power produced when connected in series to the main if the resistors are connected in series the total resistance becomes this much and since this one is the total resistance and the current becomes how much this much and if you get the if you can get the current fine finally the power is equivalent to voltage times current which is equivalent to 666 watt 666 watt calculate the power of a heat a water heater that draws a current of 10 ampere for 220 volt supply this is easy power is equal to what voltage times current the voltage is how much the, the current is 10 the voltage is 220 and the product of these two gives us how much 2.2 kilowatt or 2200 watts 2.2 kilowatt or 2200 watt and question number three a 1.5 kilowatt electrical fire is accidentally left on overnight for eight hours the cost of a unit of electrical energy this much and how many money has been wasted first we must find the kilowatt hour wasted to get the kilowatt hour wasted we must multiply power times time because power is equal to what energy time energy over time from this if you make crisscross energy becomes what energy becomes power times time power times time and the power of the electrical heater is how much 1.5 kilowatt and it's left for 8 hour therefore it becomes 1.5 1.5 times 8 it's how much 12 kilowatt hour wasted and for 1 kilowatt hour it's how much 0 0.273 therefore we multiply this 12 by 0 0.275 and finally you get the bird which one how much three bird and 28 cents is wasted or 3.28 bird is wasted wasted and this is all about unit 3 electric electric raised current electricity until next time have a nice time